what do you think is more important? I know they're both super important. Leadership or culture? Which one of those two would you think is more important to retention, to employee retention? How can you separate them? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Yeah. So um, I think we've. I think so. For my company, I can really talk through with my experience. We've had we've had a pretty good culture culture, of course, for a while.、Um, but we have. Leadership, like we've never had, and that has been transformative at Green Suite, and 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 that's and I'm not, and I don't mean me.、Um, like I, I've hired a manager who has incredible leadership skills and has been able to.、Um, we've built out a career ladder for our for our employees. We've、uh, we've. We've brought in a whole bunch more benefits packages and all kinds. We've added things, but we've really created this culture of belonging and appreciation, which I'm really big on and I've always done. But it's much more organized and planned. And I've had the ideas and the thoughts. I haven't had the. I haven't always had the management skills to necessarily do it, or I guess the leadership to do it. And so. The leadership has really helped with the culture. I don't know how you. I don't know how you pull those apart. It's really go ahead.、Dan. I got one. I can I can separate leadership from culture, but I don't know if I can separate culture from leadership. I have an example of leadership without culture, and it's and it's like the extreme Hitler. That was some ridiculous leadership, right? Guy、yeah. got a whole freaking like country to back him doing terrible things. But that was culture too. Is that <laughs> culture though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he created this crazy culture of superiority、uh, and belonging of a certain class of people or type of person. It was both. It was,、yeah. you know, it, it really was. I mean, I guess,、yeah. I guess, I guess the word culture does start with cult. So <laughs> it does. <laughs> you, you, you there, there we go. That's, a, that's、right? a good point, though. That's a good point. Like, it's it doesn't mean it was a great culture. It just means it was a culture. It was. Think, it was. I, I I I think that cultures. A lot tougher, though. I think leadership. I think everybody that is out there can become a good leader if they, if you really focus on it. You really maybe get a coach that really focuses on leadership. Yeah, I think culture, man. It, it it's really easy to see it fade or change, or when economic times change, our culture can sometimes change when it maybe shouldn't, or maybe it should. I don't know. Um, you know, there, it, it's it's、uh, to me it seems to be a really complex thing. But there's a, a buddy of ours, Ben, and his culture is real simple. If if I wouldn't hang out with you at a bar or a party, you ain't working for me. <laughs> that's his culture, really. That's pretty much what it is. If if you're not if I'm not gonna hang out with you and have fun, and and, and I wouldn't hang out at a bar with you or at a party, you're you're not gonna work for me. Right. That's right. easy culture to understand, right? Yeah.、Um, yeah. You know, so the easier the better, I think.、Um, I don't know. What, how do you put culture together? Is it intentional? Is it this is how we are? And then all of a sudden you look around, going, "Hey, this is who we are. Let's put a culture around this." I think it depends on the leader, right?、Um, I think you know, and I think that in business anyway. I mean, just to make it a little more micro, especially small business, so many leaders of businesses are overwhelmed and、uh, and overworked and all the things, so they don't necessarily have time to be super intentional about the culture that they're putting together, and then the culture can end up reflecting. Who they are, which is not necessarily a bad thing, right? They might be attracting people with similar values and work ethics, and you know, whatever. And I and I see that in different people that I work with, and you know, and and and、uh, different clients that I've coached for sure. That you look around and it's like, oh yeah, this this makes sense. That this is your company, right? But I think if you're trying to scale and build something like a lot bigger, that's beyond yourself. You have to be much more intentional about it. Like culture is easy if the owner. Or I shouldn't say it's easy. It was easy for me when I was in it. Like I could do it. I could、yeah. appreciate people. I could do. I could give them lots of love. Like all those things, right? But like,、um, and and but once the owner is stepped out and is scaling, you have to be much more intentional. Otherwise, you can get bad cultures. You can get negative cultures. Like it, and it really can be very reflective of whoever is directly in charge of the folks working, right? Or the different managers. I don't know. Yeah. So it really depends、yeah. on the size and、yeah. where you are in business.